Hi, welcome to SBL Kitchen. I'm Mukta Nagraj showing you authentic South Indian Telugu recipe. This is called Sajbilulu in Telugu, Nuchina Kadabu in Kannada. This is called so because I'm using the rice soji. Let's begin with the recipe. I'm going to boil the water. 1 is to 3. I will allow this to boil and then add the hyacinth beans. If you don't have hyacinth bean, then you can use moong dal. The same portion of moong dal can be as a substitute for this. Now the water is boiling, I shall add the bean. I want this to be cooked and then start with the procedure. Let's see whether it's cooked. Yes, it is done. We can add the other ingredients to it. I'm going to add in the salt, jaggery, grated coconut, I'm going to add in some oil. and some ghee. Time to add rice soji. I'm going to lower the temperature and close the lid and allow it to cook until the soji is cooked. In between, I would like to mix this once. This has to cook for a few more minutes. I think it is done and ready to make the dish. When you take it out, you can feel the rice soji is cooked. Then you can switch off the flame. This is the time now to make the patties, that is the bille. I shall transfer this into a bowl. While I'll be making the patties, I would want a traditional idli Ban, what we call it, vessel which was used in the earlier days to make idlis. So I'm using that here to make it more authentic. This is my idli vessel. I'm just keeping this for the water to boil. While this is hot, I'm going to make it into patties. So your hands does not burn, dip it in water. Make the patties like this. This is the kadabu or the billalu. showing you another version of making this. This is the roasted one. For this, I don't want to make it so big. I'm going to make it into small ones. This is for the roasting purpose. I have another recipe with the same dough. In my next episode, I would show you how to make onion roti with the same dough. Now the water is boiling in this. I'm going to spread 
a muslin cloth. And place this and cover this again. close the lid tight. Now this is firm. I would steam this for 15 minutes. If it is in a cooker, do not put the whistle on. While the patties are steaming, I would like to show the other variant, which is roasted, which we did it while we were making them. So I'm going to grease the pan. so that it won't stick to the pan when you keep it for roasting. Now with medium flame, I will start keeping the patty. With some more oil drizzled. With medium flame, I'm going to roast them on both sides. Little more oil on the other side. Now this is roasted on both sides. By now, the steamed one should also be fine. It's 15 minutes. Let's check on that. Now, this is steamed well for 15 minutes. This is piping hot. On to the serving plate. Hot patties. The steamed version and the roasted version. This, you can have it with coconut and the poppy seed payasam, which I have shown in my halabattu recipe. You can find the recipe for the payasam there and the chutney goes very well with this. For more recipes, like and subscribe SPL Foods.